That's been toying with me. The heck is going on? <laughs> um, we're not married, but I, I'll be damned if you try to mess with me with anything. So, where's Maria? Anyway, <laughs> this comes from Ellis 18 Close from three days ago, who says, my husband is in the habit of getting random stuff from my closet. Sometimes he returns them, others, he doesn't bother. I'm absolutely sure he does this when we're on holidays. Agnes would just be missing. I didn't know how to respond. To, I didn't know how to respond to, <laughs> respond to because it, if I started to do the same to him, it might just escalate. Escalate? Like, so I guess he's just taking like random stuff. And, Without asking? <laughs> uh, yeah, and she just finds out. So I was like, why? Why both? Why both are you just not communicating? <laughs> what is he taking? That's what I want to know. Right, like <laughs> no source of communication. I. Okay, we'll see what this. Goes. Yeah. Well, I noticed that he wasn't careful with his wallet. And... Sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like very cautious about my wallet. <laughs> you know that for a fact. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> and not conscious of how he he has, so I would sneak in and get the amount equivalent of the missing items. On his birthday, I downgraded my gift to reflect my annoyance at this weird behavior of his. Mm. So it's kind of like a tip for tech type stuff. So okay, okay. He is what? <laughs> he is sixty six, educated with a good finance related job. I am 68. Who is at loss on how to handle this? So they're both <laughs> high in the 60s of their age. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, I mean, cool good life. No, I'm just kidding. Um, God but, damn. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, not only is he two years younger than you, you're in your 60s. And, wait, this is... Yeah, y'all married. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's one thing that spice up your relationship is keep keep it spicy, I guess. But with him taking stuff without even asking. <laughs> I mm. <laughs> So yeah, he's sixty six, she's sixty eight. Mm -hmm. Um, of course he denies and denies, or I might report him to his GP that he's showing signs of dementia, which his mother got. <laughs> <laughs> it gets interesting. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. And I'm not gonna lie. So he's taking stuff. Mm hmm Okay, first let's back it up. Yeah, Where, let's let's go back to square one, huh? He's sixty six. Mm hmm They're married. She's sixty eight. And so he's taking stuff from her closet. I, it doesn't say whether or not it's being sold, misplaced, and she hasn't found them yet. I don't, uh -huh. I don't get the whole, I don't know if she may be having dementia because she's older. I don't know. <laughs> it seems like Boba may have been having issues. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. So, and then she just kept, comes back with another haymaker mm -hmm. and say, well, he's, he's showing signs of dementia, which his mother has. Um, sounds like, sounds like a family history of dementia. Huh? Sounds like it's contagious. <laughs> right. <laughs> Cause, um, Taking stuff and I'm sure they're not knowing where they placed it and whatnot. At, like this, uh, the talk comment, just set up a netting cam so you can prove it to him. That's smart, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. So, someone else says behind that comment, what if you accidentally film your secret attic tenant? Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, there'll be some stories about, like, people missing food and uh -huh. stuff is all weird and misplaced. misplaced and whatnot. Yeah. Yes, and there's, like, they put a camera in and lo and behold, there's someone that's living, like, in their freaking 
attic just mm-hmm. living in a crawl space for like months and years on end got <laughs> crazy right there <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't sleep at night. That's why I got insomnia. I don't trust nobody. Like the pops we heard the other night, like <laughs> I don't trust fireworks. Right. I think somebody is like shooting up the place around here. Yeah, why not? Using fireworks as a cover up. <laughs> That's how like conspiracy in depth I am. But let's get over that. But anyway, <laughs> mysterious. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Holy crap, this is actually terrifying. Possibly it is. Just, yeah. I mean... Uh, it, it shows like, <laughs> you're both losing your mind. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Someone else says, maybe OP, OP's the one with the dementia that she hasn't thought of this yet. I was like thinking, it, it might be contagious. Either she has dementia and she misplaced her own stuff. That's why I'm getting that. And... Blaming him for him, for him taking her stuff. Yeah, because it's like, I like I I yet to see anything like no money has been. I haven't seen nothing suspicious like no money has been made or. Is it mentioning like specific items that's probably taken? Huh. No, it just says he just have like my husband is in the habit of getting random stuff from my closet. Sometimes he returns them. It says sometimes he returns them. Others he doesn't bother. Mm -hmm. And so it says that items will be missing. So I'm like, I like, are they being sold? Or can you not tell? Can you not like see that on Facebook Marketplace? Hey, that bracelet looks familiar. Right. (laughs) Like it should like resemble some kind of like means for your life. If you see some something like that on Facebook Market, it's being sold. And it's weird because it's like because she says sometimes he returns them. Mm-hmm. So, so is it like kind of I don't know why I want to say this, but it's like wearing her stuff and then placing them back. I I, I don't I think know. It's like Joanna man type shit. I hope not because you're hiding a six and you're acting like that. I mean, holy shit! I hope that's not what he's coming to. That'd be some. Some nasty work, though. No Maybe kidding. Some nasty work. All right, so this next story will go to Kremlin Ruin, if that's what I'm pronouncing it right. And the topic is loud neighbors got silenced. I used to live in a basement flat in Brighton, Brighton, wherever that city is called, a uh, city notorious for lots for young people who love to party. Not surprised by that. People left the party everywhere. The flat directly above mine was rented, and the tenants with the tenants changing often. One summer, two young men moved in and immediately had a very loud, very busy party. Interesting to see where this goes. That's fine within reason, but this party was still going at two in the morning on Sunday night. Oh hell no! Especially if you got work, I will bitch and complain. That's my bedtime. No shit. That's if I, cause I don't sleep. That's like if if I even go to sleep, that is when I go to sleep. So anything else, making noise. No, it's a, it's it's a definitely hell no. But anyways. But this party was still going on at 2 in the morning on a Sunday night, and we had to be up for work in the morning, just like we were talking about. My partner went upstairs, knocked on the door, and asked them to keep the noise down. They muttered something and slammed the door in his face. Oh, hell no. I will bust that shit immediately. Needless to say, nothing changed. By 2.30 a.m., we had enough and decided to take action. And we have featured feature of our building was that everyone's electricity meters boards were in one utility room with access via a locked door from the outside alley what the people living above didn't know is that we also had access to that room via an internal door from our flat so i slipped in the door into the room excuse me and flipped the main power switch to their flat into the off position Killing their electricity supply instantly. The noise stopped and there was a lot of shouting upstairs. Oh, I can't imagine. Okay. Hey! 
What chaotic shit went upstairs what for the, those people? Man, what the <laughs> fuck? Man? What, what, what happened to the best friend? They were in the dark in silence with no idea what had happened. A few minutes later, we heard the outside door of the utility room being unlocked and opened. And they located their meter board and turned their power back on. I'm surprised they knew what the fuck it was. Soon afterwards, <laughs> the dumping music started again. Again, I flipped their switch. Oh, yeah, this is a game is, cat and mouse, right? Yeah, here. I was gonna say, what does this remind me of? Was yeah. Like, something that happens on the cartoon show. Was it adult or was it an actual, like, cartoon for kids? I don't know. I, I don't know. It reminds me of, like, a Tom and Jerry episode. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm getting at. <laughs> And this kid go back and forth over stupid. It's just like a whole freaking episode they go back and forth with over something so stupid. You know? Until one of them dies. After three rounds of this, <laughs> three, rounds, three rounds, they must have assumed that their music equipment was overloading their ring main, and they gave up and everyone left. Result, we were never bartered in this way again, and they moved out six months later. Can't rave no more. Can't rave no more in these conditions, man. See, I wish I'm lucky like our neighbors upstairs don't have parties like that because if there was a way we can get into like a utility room for like powers to switch off their flat or apartment upstairs, that's something you would definitely want to do. Just play a cat mouse game. Just turn it off constantly until somebody gives up. I want to do it regardless whenever they make two miles of a footstep noise. Like we hear every single with the people that live above our room but what gets me the most is that this dude like went upstairs to take action and to have the door slam in your face I, I don't know like how we were handling that but I would have lost my shit and I will probably kick the door down or done something because no, I'm not going to have nice. somebody slam a door in either of our faces no you too nice I don't think you're a roadhouse kick the f down. I think you've been so nice and you've been like, I'm calling the cops. And um, I probably would, but at the same time, you know, I would have been pissed. Because he knows me. Me? I already know what kind of car they drive, so I would just something were to happen. Hint, hint. <laughs> They'll be wearing concrete tires. But, you know, it's not the point. <laughs> so, it's not the point. The point is we're very peaceful people. Just don't f with us and we won't f with you. True. So, I mean, they asked for it. And to move out six months later, hey, hopefully you move out to like a children of the corn type deal or some shit. Yeah, just go to where you're not going to be bothering other people who have to work Monday the next day. Just go out there in the field. And, and not to mention, who the hell parties on a Sunday night? I get if it's like holidays or maybe a spring break week, but it's if it's party on Sunday. Yeah, man, like people you, you wanna recover from partying on Saturday and Friday. Even Friday, I'm still like out Saturday and then Sunday I'm like, okay, I'm getting to a chance to recover and figure out how to use my motor skills again. <laughs> so, right. Yeah, sun partying on Sunday just to have a shit ton of stuff to do Monday. Mm -hmm. It's not the it's not the vibe. No, it makes me wonder too if they were like probably like college kids or whatnot. If that was like a college kid, you it's know, room up like, there, yeah. Like right after high school, like they just graduated, fresh graduation. Mm -hmm. They just met a friend who's like twenty one or with someone with a fake ID or some shit. Yeah, I'm sure that's what that was, because I can't see. Well, I mean, I can see maybe like. Adults in like the mid thirties probably doing some shit like this because I've had this experience in Texas when I was living with my family when I was going in when I was going through college and whatnot and you was a shit hole too. No, like I was visiting my family and it was like what twelve or one o'clock in the morning. I was sleeping in the living room because I had no room to sleep in, and these people upstairs they were like probably like in their thirties and whatnot throwing a party one night and my parents had to get up the next morning and so I got pissed and called the cops and told them what was going on. I told you. It, Cop caller. <laughs> well, not to mention, they're older than me. I'm probably like in my early 20s. I don't know what's going to happen if I go upstairs. 
right. Yeah, so I wanted her to be safe. Why he not? Wasn't stupid. And the cop came, went upstairs, told him to cut the shit down. He waited outside for like 10 minutes, is what he came down and told me. And he told, came back 10 minutes later and told me that he was going to uh, shut the party down. And I shit you not, no longer after he went upstairs and told me that everybody had to leave, them people upstairs got so pissed, they were stomping constantly because they knew where it came from. And they were just being assholes at that point. And didn't wake my parents up. Didn't tell them the next morning. They didn't even hear the shit. Well, I, I couldn't sleep, so I had to do something about it. But for them to go upstairs... And, you know, stomp constantly because the party had to get canceled. It's childish. How did your parents not hear that? Were they, like, did they take some, like, fire <laughs> sleep aids? Because, like, remember, I can't sleep. So you tell them your parents that, hey. No, they're just heavy <laughs> sleepers. And not to <laughs> mention, I'm sure they were in part. Oh, yeah, because I remember your, when your mom came up. <laughs> Bless your mom's heart. Yeah. You told me your mom snores. And I was like, you snore? You're like, no, man, she snores, snores. And then. We shared that hotel room. Oh my gosh. I, both of them, I don't know how he was able to sleep, but both of them, I was like sandwiched between both of them basically. And they were both just, I just, well, I'm not sure if I snore that loud, but anyways. Eventually I fell asleep. But like they woke up before me and they were surprised that I was able to sleep that long. What do you think? It took me a long time. The long time to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. But let's get to the comments. Yeah. Oh yeah, shit. This is, so comments right here. LOL. I have done almost exactly the same thing. Main difference was that they didn't know where the breakers were. <laughs> I turned them back on when I went back to work the next morning. Well done. See, if they didn't know where the breakers were, that would have been a win for the people below. You know what I'm saying the fact that they was kept kept going playing tug of war with the freaking breaker. I was like, even my ass would have been like, I, 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 don't, I forfeit. Right, like I'm done. I'm not gonna fight this. Yeah, I'm good. I don't, I don't feel like it. <laughs> you got time? I don't. One comment made was that I would have turned it right on as they were coming downstairs, so they would be confused. And turn right back on when they left. <laughs> we'll mess with them much more. <laughs> make it make them think they had like an electrical problem, whatnot. Maybe people, maybe people lose their mind. That that's people who got time. And then another comment was like, "That's awesome. Seeing as they thought their big stereo was overloading, it could have set like a fire to a small amount of paper or plastic packaging material in metal garbage can." And when the room is full of smoke and it has a nice burning plastic smell, flip the breaker back on again. Then when they came to turn it back on, they would think that they were damaging the wiring. And then, what? So. Who wants to burn rubber? So I'm guessing what the comment's making is that if they were overloading like the speaker, it could have set fire to like, I don't know, a small plastic like metal can next oh, to it this comment is just being a, a point dexter pretty much a point dexter yeah, it's, it's like point dexters and whatnot i mean you can be right but you really don't care if you're right no everybody's got their own opinions you know you, you just gotta not be a f jackass while you're and then <laughs> one comment makes is that you know where it exactly is a Brighton or where is this story taking place? And OP writes that it's in England. Okay, so... So I'm, it kind of explains it. Okay, because I was kind of right. I almost said like some Bridgerton type shit. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Bridgerton on Netflix if you haven't Which seen Which makes it. sense because like, I you know, <laughs> the Europeans over there, they love the party, man. <laughs> Especially like England? I know what England. I know I think they're like big over there, like the rave themes over there. Did they have tea and crumpets. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Did you hear that? So I made that joke. But that's a pretty that's a pretty petty revenge right there. We would have done the same. Just 
find the breakers, switch it off and whatnot, <laughs> just piss them off, and then get them out within six months. I think that's a win for OP right there. <laughs> Brand new, we find the breakers first. Me, I'll sneak into the house and no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. All right. So next story, landlord tried to strong arm me into letting him into the home. Did not go well. And this is by Reddit user Powerful Raid or yeah, Raid. Mm, like the cockroach spray raid or like No, it's like R A Y D. What? Well you said what? R A Y D. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But let's get to the story. Yeah. A few years ago we were in a small two and a half bedroom apartment. The landlord basically never talked to us. We paid on time and kept everything neat and steady. Of course, sounds good. Well, one day his lordship decides he wants to sell the place. That's no problem. He wants to give the place a bit of a paint. Also not a problem. But he also told us he would be sanding the walls of the staircase. The main area of the house was upstairs, downstairs, had a bedroom, office, and garage attached. And that would be that. Fine. No problem. Off you go. But instead of stopping at the top of the stairs, he decided to carry on one of the walls that led into my son's room. Had we known he was going to do that, we would have done what was necessary. But we did know, and so every inch of my son's room, his clothes, carpets, bed, toys, the lot, were covered in a fine dust from sanding the painted drywall. It took hours of wiping down and vacuuming to get it back, and he had to sleep somewhere else for two nights after his breathing and skin suffered. Ooh, I'm not liking how this is going. Oh, not the baby. Nah, man. If it this is going to get interesting. Continuing, I mentioned this to the property manager who was the absolute delight to work with. She, and she said he would advise him that we would need more details about what work he wanted to do. This seemed fine also. When does I draw a line? He then wanted to come back and do some painting. Again, that was not a problem. It, it's value to the house and looks better, etc. However, he told us he would be there for four hours. Eight hours later, he decided that that was enough for the day and called it. The night he matches me saying he wanted to come back and do more painting the next day. I said that didn't work for us. Wasn't enough notice, didn't allow us peace of living, etc. He then tried to claim that in our contract, the tenancy contract he called it, it stated that we must allow him to complete projects in a timely fashion and if I were to decline him entry, then the cost of the rest of the project and completion would lie with me and be my responsibility. Get the f out of here. I... What? <laughs> so, bring it back. He then tried to claim that in our contract, the tenancy contract he called it, it stated that we must allow him to complete projects in a timely fashion. If I were to decline him entry, then the cost of the rest of my project, or the rest of the project, and its completion will lie with me and be my responsibility. So, reading it further so we can get a little better understanding. So, I sent his text. It's also nice when people lie to you in writing. Off to lovely property manager again, who called me and said not to worry. She was sorry out. About a week goes by and I get a text asking very nicely if I would allow them access in a few days to complete the work. No problem. His lordship and a pal arrived to carry on painting and were there for another eight hours. However, this time, I, didn't, I don't think they took any pleasure in it. My PC is next to my PS5. So on my PC, I put on tiptoe through my tulips on repeat for the full eight hours max volume. I just popped up. I was sorry, I just popped my headphones into my controller and gamed all day long. After eight hours, his lordship comes up the stairs and into the lounge. It opened plain and said with great strain and weariness of a man wore down that they had finally finished. 
without breaking eye contact with my screen, I said, okay, bye, and just hovered for a second before shakily walking out. As soon as I heard the front door close, I turned the music off. No doubt it was for you, big boy. Don't lie to people, especially those who can, you know, read a contract. And provide a YouTube link just in case you aren't familiar. Hmm. Tiptoe through my tulips. Is that a song? You don't know that song? I don't think I've ever heard that song. Huh. Uh, yeah, I remember a, a song from SpongeBob. Oh, and, is it that and, song? And, and that song from Insidious. <laughs> it's the song that's scary as <laughs> now. I hate that song now. Ooh, so he played that. Oh, yeah, that would get on my nerves. Before eight hours, right there. <laughs> yeah, my nerves and it'll still haunt me. I would hear that song. You know how long it took me to get that song from the city out of my head? And now we're reminiscing about reading this post, and now it's oh, coming back to your head, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, that may hit that note, though. Ooh. But this story, I mean, if you're just not getting the job done and you're telling me that it's in your tenancy contract that it's my responsibility to let you in without and to charge me for not letting you in and you not getting the job done i'm gonna say if you're doing a sucky job and you're harming my family while doing it right i'm gonna make sure i document it first off and then we're gonna if i have time and the money yeah, i'll see you in two hours and i hope you have the time and the money too but like still, it, it's just not to mention it's causing like harm to the kid with like yeah, that's skin what irritation and whatnot. That's what I'm saying. You yeah, you done nothing to compensate for that. You just said like, oh well, and I'll see you next week. And mm -hmm. It's not. It's not gonna be like that. No. And then you wanna charge me for not letting you in. It's like fool me once, bruh. No. No. <laughs> Especially on my child, that's like fool me twice level now. Like, like it's like it's gonna be shame on me if you hurt my child. So not to mention if it causes serious damage to the child, I'm taking him to the hospital. You're paying for the medical bills because it's true. what workplace negligence on your part. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm keeping, keeping it all documented. Yeah, get his ass fired. <laughs> I'd be like pulling like what well, Walmart and Target be doing. Target, <laughs> what Target and them be doing? They they'll take like what they'll wait until like the shop looker accumulates like a certain amount of stolen goods, and then they hit him with a bam. Right. They hit him with a slam. I'm going through these comments right now. So OP comments on the given the option of the two frankly i take baby shark at least i can make up silly lyrics easily enough money hungry landlord money hungry landlord oh money hungry landlord play baby shark for like eight hours straight right there boy <laughs> that was no 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 that would that wouldn't be it for eight hours i would cut that shit in like Two hours and left. <laughs> if I had to hear that on repeat. What's that? What's like that? What's that another annoying song? What's like that? Like a lot of the comments right here suggesting like playing Baby Shark to annoy the the Lordship in his presence. Like if I were on a jury for a murder caused by AI I was a Baby Shark, it would take me a lot of deliberation. I think they should do the the Star Spangled Banner of like. <laughs> that one singer who recently was drunk off her ass just ever like oh gosh hear that horrible screeching her interpretation of the star spangled banner but i thought really when you played it the other day i thought she was that little girl that was that was just no this was a completely different one i was like oh why are you playing that little girl like you know she was just she's little she's trying she's but this was a new one he recently. He said this girl was drunk, and I said, "The lady was drunk." And you can see it on the TV, like, "Oh yeah, she looks up." And I'm like, "Oh, that's not the eight-year-old I'm thinking." Well, gosh, she may not have been eight years old. <laughs> I mean, they're giving like a lot of good suggestions on like playing a lot of songs to annoy him. 
cute. I would put on Ramstein's Do Haas and Crank It. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, I praise that guy right there. Do Haas, bitch. <laughs> then that hard riff comes on. <laughs> <laughs> To me, I will play Metallica's Enter Sandman. Because I heard, like, the government who, like, tortures, like, people for interrogation. I've heard, like, stories that they play that shit on repeat to get people to, like, spill out information. And people can't stand listening to that song for, like, a long uh, period of time. They put on some Nickelback. <laughs> Look at this crap! <laughs> <laughs> That cheesy ass grin. So f- cheesy. I love him. I love Nickelback. But, hey. I you, feel like you will hate some Nickelback, though. Probably. A lot of people don't hate, don't like Nickelback, but f*** them. <laughs> it's great music anyways. Yeah, I like them. Wow. Did not yeah. like the way this turned out, but at least they were able to get the job done and, you know, get the hell out of there. Without, without you know, disrupting I, their lives. I guess I would have been like, just hey, I'm gonna make you sign another contract to say like, hey, you declined any more services and whatever happens that falls out that wasn't taken care of in the package and the in contract beforehand. Mm-hmm. Hey, you said you declined all services, so you know it's you know whatever happens, it's gonna be on your end, and you find, you hire someone else. And being of that, I don't think I would want to test somebody who has a kid and potentially cause them harm. Right. And get them that <laughs> backing out of nowhere with that with that lawsuit. So you no know, shit. Just, you know I don't got time for that. You know, you know, so. And the story right there. Understood. All right, so this is a pretty good one. So this last Reddit story, tile crop dusting, looking at DVDs by user Prowzine. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but it's wherever I'll post it. The story on this description. So I read this post yesterday of somebody crop dusting a rude table full of dude bros. It reminded me of a time I had done that as well. About 20 years ago, so I was shopping at the local Best Buy. Great times. It was one of my favorite things to do, browsing the many aisles for DVD sales, which added to my movie home collection. I was looking in the sci-fi aisle, and the next aisle over that I was facing was rom-com or something. I noticed there was a couple over in the next aisle only because I would like to be aware of my surroundings. As I was looking at the DVDs on the shelf, the boyfriend in the next aisle snaps his fingers at me and says, Better stop checking out my girl. (laughs) Better stop checking out my girl. Who says, Keep my name. Oh, wrong bitch. (laughs) Keep my wife's ass out of your eyes. Crazy. Some type shit. Let's see where this goes right there. I'm, I'm kind of interested now. I, I'm taking it back since I was doing no such thing that he gave me a mean face as he looked me up and down. I guess he was challenging me or something. Whatever I thought. Be a crow mag dude. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> stupid. But give me that Chris, give me that f- that Chris Rock treatment. You know? <laughs> okay. I responded with a chuckle at my inner thoughts and told him that I was not checking out his girl. Excuse me. That's when he puffed up his chest and asked me what my problem was and that we could solve it outside. As soon as that came out... Damn, he, me outside. <laughs> how about that? <laughs> as soon as that came out, his girl came up and told him that he needed to stop causing a scene and just let it be. If it's meant to be, it'll be, you know. be, baby, just let it be. She also said that I was looking at movies and that I was nowhere near her league anyway. Oh, oh, you didn't, bruh. Okay, hold on. What? <laughs> she, okay. So she he, said that ne- she, he was looking at the movies and that 
nowhere near her league whatsoever. So uh, okay, you just you didn't have to say all that. You could have said he wasn't even paying attention to me and kept it at that. So the boyfriend's you, being an asshole, and she's obviously and, being a bitch and, at this point. Yeah, <laughs> and you trying to like save face and be like, listen. He's not even in my league. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, bitch, now I'm going to whoop your ass. I'm going to whoop your I'm gonna whoop your boyfriend's ass twice as hard. <laughs> but nine ways to Sunday. Look, I'm okay. But anyway, to the story, I wasn't really in the mood to deal with their crap. So I held up my hands and apologized for any misunderstood, misunderstanding. I walk away down the aisle a section or two, and the guy just keeps giving me the smirk like he won or something. I feel like a fuck on me. I feel like a fuck coming on. Before I know it, it comes out. But it's not a ripper. It's a soul crushing, a soul crushing silent one. I totally forgot this was a farting story. Yeah, I was. I, yeah, so now it's getting to it. I was waiting on for the ass whooping, not the ass clapping. <laughs> so it gets better. It's a soul crushing silent one. I catch a whiff of it and it just grosses me out. So I quickly move away. Oh, that's the worst. You can't even still stand your own phone name. So I'm curious to see how, how far this goes. The next aisle over, though, the couple was not so lucky. They moved over to the same section I was just in. <laughs> As I walk away, I hear the girl very loudly say, Oh, my God, what is that smell? Then I hear her gag. <laughs> <laughs> I hear the guy simultaneously, it's in my mouth, it's in my mouth, I can taste it. <laughs> what is this in a blockbuster? What is that? <laughs> he did end up throwing up right there in the aisle. I quickly left the store, got my car, and then laughed like there was no tomorrow. I only feel bad for the Best Buy employee, employee who had to clean it up. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Oh my god. That is some great petty shit right there. <laughs> I, like, I wish I was able to release that something so putrid. Just like, if someone pissed me off, I can just look. Have that. <laughs> like, just like, take that. But you know? I know what you mean. Like, when you have that silent one and that you can't stand that smell, you know. It's a nuclear bomb. <laughs> but I can't stand my, I can't stand any parts. Right? Yeah. I can't stand my own. I can't stand any parts. So like that's why I don't let it cook. I let it like come out in little increments <laughs> right. at a time periodically. So mm -hmm. it doesn't build up to like a freaking boo 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 like like bad bunny medic like fucking going off or something. You know, and not to mention. <laughs> It was that bad that he had the guy puking in the aisle. Like, dude puke and girl just gag. I don't know if he puked over the smell or puked over the girl gagging or both. It could have been a combination of both. I'm dude. sure it was a combination of both. But, petty revenge. I, I don't even know he intended to make, do all that, but I think he just, like, just wanted his stomach to stop hurting. I'm sure that's what it was. Because, you know... If he was like, if I can't let this gas, I'm taking my anger. Because we've all had, like, those painful stomach pains where you know you have to let something out. Yeah, and but he's you... bold for trusting it. How old is he? Does it say? Uh, doesn't give an age. Well, I'm at the age where I'm not even that old. But <laughs> I'm still not playing safe again. I mean, I'm not going to mention on here, but you know the story <laughs> back in South Dakota. I'm not even gonna mention it on here. <laughs> yeah, you still think it's funny to this day, yes, asshole. I yes, I do. Because you try to make make fun of me, so I was like, finally. Karma's a bitch. Yeah, Karma's a bitch. I should have known better. And some of the comments are really funny on this. Like, I dropped a few oh, f bombs that could peel paint off walls. I don't care if this is fictional rings. True for me. Fall bombs are my speciality. Ooh, <laughs> See, people like who have that talent. I'm, I, I commend you because if I try to do that, I'm scared. If I get like a, like a hernia or like, oh, I, sh I shit myself. So. <laughs>
Even this one commenter comments OP for this. I like you, OP. A cool, puss, uh, a cool person you are. Very proud of you. Hey, that's America right there. <laughs> Gosh, dog. That is a true that legend right Marvel. there. Everybody's just commenting that this dude's a legend. I shit. <laughs> he, I, he, he handled he handled it pretty good without violence. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like if I had that power, haters beware. You know, hopefully you ain't gotta be a hater. You just look at me funny in the grocery store, and I'm just gonna. <clears throat> you know, and I'll send your ass to the hospital so quick. <laughs> <laughs> so they call me and died. Nah. Just my love, for, it's my empathy for everybody. Just, <clears throat> I have no words for that. So, so deadly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and conclude this last story as I read stories. If you guys enjoy our revenge Reddit stories, like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment below what you guys think, and then let us know what kind of stories you guys would love to hear. And we will sit down, work on reading some of these stories, and give you guys some more interesting, gnarly stories to hear on Reddit stories. Well, guys, it's been fun. It's been real. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, thank you, baby, for having me too, as well. And uh, I hope I did okay. And uh, I'm sorry that um, <clears throat> it was very real estate. <laughs> <laughs> All right.